that you believe the same. I hope and believe that you know that what you're building right now is the only business that can take you to go, uh, can take you to where you want to go. You understand? Because if you don't know that, or if you don't believe in that, that means you are giving yourself, um, uh, you know, like you, you're, you're not, you, you have not put your best foot in the business. You understand? So it's very easy when, when people have got different options, it's very easy to quit on one, knowing that I, I still have got another option. You know, like that's why we say, like most people that have gone to so much school, you know, these people that they love studying and studying and studying, you know, or like, I don't know, or let's say um, most professionals, okay? Like I mean now employ, employed and all that. They, they know that I've got my job, so why should I hustle in a business? You understand? And I know, they know that, uh, you know, however things will be, my salary will always be there, you know? However things will be, I'll just go and get another master's degree and I will get an increment or get another job. I'll go and get my PhD and I'll get another job. And that is why it's very difficult for most people to like sustain in businesses that they they kind of like, of course, being a business, there will always be a struggle. You know, they don't want to go through that because they think they have got a lot of options, you know. So for me and for so many people that are doing this business, like very serious and they're, they're really making it, it's because we have decided, I personally decided that this is the only business that I want to, I want to, 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 to put all of my eggs in. You know, like this is the only business I want to put all of my best fit, you know, into it. You understand? And I hope that you're gonna do the same. And we follow a very simple plan. Forever Living is a very, very simple business in such a way that makes people feel like, ah, it is too simple, you know? But still, of course, as I said, it's a bit challenging, yeah? But being simple, it doesn't mean that it's easy, but it's, it means that it, need, it will need you to have that discipline for you to build your business. We follow a very simple cycle. This is a uh, forever building cycle where when you start the business the first thing that you need to do is you need to write a list of names so by now do you have a list of names okay and that is about 100 names 200 names they you know that is the that is that is the good list to start with and then after that you know you start contacting them okay so contacting that is what we are going to do today like that is what we are going to touch on it's the skill that is the most important skill because without this one then you cannot go through the cycle you know so you contact the people and then now you sit down and show them if it's a one-on-one -on -one, and then you, you you invite them for a business presentation some of them will say no some of them will choose to buy the product some of them will say yes i want to be the business with you and so they will register and then we'll sit down with them and have a planning meeting and then plan for them with them to become supervisors this is a supervisor building business it is a supervisor building business now with the number of supervisors that is when you go to manager you understand okay. so if this is the, this is this is how simple it is with only this cycle, you can live the lifestyle that you want to live. You can travel the world. You will have, you know, that financial freedom you're looking for. You will have that retirement okay. plan, you know, that new car that you're looking for, that house that you want. This is what we do. But it, would all, it will always begin with, why are you doing it? So you have to have your goals. You have to know why you're doing this business. So today we'll touch here because, this is, you know, there's, there's presentation skills, there's goal setting, there's contacting, that is invitation. You know, there's how, you know, uh, skills that you, you, you need to build for you to be able to, to speak to people, like doing the one-to-ones and doing the business presentations. There's planning, there's leadership. There's a number of skills, but I, I can assure you, the one skill that you need to have the number one skill that you need to have, and that is what we are going to talk today, is how you can invite people and make sure that most of the people that you're going to invite, they attend your business presentation or they attend your product launch, you know, or they come for a WhatsApp presentation, a Zoom meeting or what, you understand. And as I said, it's a simple, it's a, it's a simple business where it's a, uh, it's a supervisor building business. But now, yes, supervisor is the very first goal that a person is supposed to create, but the, ma the major goal is at least to get to manager, all right? And so it's very important for you to know that for you to go to manager, you need to have at least five strong legs. And for you to have five strong legs, it doesn't mean that you have only sponsored five people. It means you have sponsored um, maybe 25 people. Of the five people, every five people will give you one key person. We, we speak of five key people, 
you understand so right now i just want you to think of how many people do you know that they have a great attitude they're open-minded they're looking for more money they're looking for more time you know they want more security more flexibility you understand and of course this is one of the business that you get an opportunity to choose who do i want to work with so of the list who do you want to work with okay and then they will start talking to them and that is before now before going to talk to them this is what you're going to do you're supposed to sit down and make a call so if you do a lot of those calls then that means a lot of people will be coming to you and you'll be able to share with them a business opportunity and then they'll be able to join your business as i said of the five people that is when you'll find this one key person that you're looking for so recruiting in the business is something that is very key so some people will recruit um via the products okay so start with them uh, you start experiencing the products first and then they'll choose to do the business and some of them they'll choose to go to the business direct okay so invitation as i said is one of the major major skill that you need to you need to master so i'm going to share with you okay and this some some of the some of the scripts as well that you can even print and you can be using them as you're making calls. you can you, you can you can actually have it in front of you okay and you know you can even be reading okay as you're talking to someone because they won't know if you have been if you have been practicing for for that to to be to to stick in your mind okay and then after that it will come natural after that you will always be like into it so today is just a training so you just need to also make sure that you are taking your time to keep learning there's a lot of videos that you can go and you know just write invitation in network marketing on youtube on google you will find all those information and you go to instagram there are leaders that uh you can follow pages that you can follow and people go and go live and all that where you can be able to learn about your business so the question is you need to be asking yourself like what is holding you back most of the time we don't do much invitation because or we don't really invite people to see our business opportunity because one is we don't believe in the company you might say like yeah i am in forever and all that but you know deep you know deep in, deep inside yourself like you you doubt will i really live the life that i want to 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 live will this forever deliver you know if it's price this price a bit expensive and all that you you don't you 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 don't really speak about it but then if you have got those thoughts it they will always make you you know um fall back when you want to speak to someone you understand so you and how do you create belief in the company of course you have to learn more about the company you have to know and understand the marketing plan for you to know that the marketing plan on its own is there to help you grow it's just up to you now to put in the work that you need okay lack of belief in yourself okay maybe you have got some other setbacks setbacks maybe you have failed in a, in a, in a number of in a number of businesses or in a number of things you know before starting forever and so you're kind of doubting yourself will i be able to do this will i be able to do this i cannot talk to people you know maybe i don't have a beautiful smile maybe i don't have this and that you know that is you not believing in yourself and obviously that will be holding you you, you back and as you're learning it's important that you put in the effort into into doing into doing so you're learning and as i always tell people like forever is 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 the way we we build ourselves in forever is is like swimming you know you don't read swimming on a book you have to be in a swimming pool so if you want to learn about invitation then you have to be able to be doing you know um invitations every day so it's the same way with with swimming if you, if you swim today and then you you know you you're now starting know, knowing how to do it a bit and all that flapping flapping and then you 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 go you know you go you like you know like you've already started learning and then you go back and then you don't come back and do it again after like maybe a week or two weeks so maybe you understand you will always be starting over every time same way as working out you go to work out today and you have you have missed your workout it will hurt but if you if if you keep on going to you know you know to the gym every day it becomes the pain you know it becomes you know the the, the pain become you know becomes normal like it will come a time that you don't even feel the pain but then if you go to the gym today and then you quit and then you wait another one week and then you go again it will hurt and then you wait and you know it will always be hurting so lack of consistency is something that is really here really making making people not um grow to their best you know do the business to their best ability so it's very important that when you say i want to know how to invite a massively i want to know how to build my business then i you need to be doing it consistently you need to have work ethic you know have sense of urgency 
you know? So like what needs to be done today, it has to be done today. It has to be done today. Today I have to make my five calls. It has to be done today. You know, don't wait and say like tomorrow I'm going to make 10 calls. The day that you make one call will be better than the day that you make zero calls. So you have to have work ethic. You have to know that this is my business and I, have, I am relying on this business to make sure that it helps me grow, grow, you know, it helps me reach my goals. If you don't, if you don't do that, then obviously you will be, you know, you're there forever. You know, like you, you, you won't be fair to the business. You say like forever doesn't work, but in actual sense, it's not working for you because you don't have that work, work ethic that, that you're supposed to put in. But one of the most important thing as well is people don't have emotional connection with their why, emotional connection with their goals. So it's very important for you to know why you're doing the business. All right, I need to, to mute some of you, okay? So it's very important for you to know why you're doing the business and you have to really connect. That is why we always say like, hey, you have to have a visual, um, a, a visual, uh, you have to be visualizing your goals. Like you have to have a vision board, for example, you have to have a, um, a, a vision book where like you will be seeing your goals every day because that is when you'll be able to connect with them. You know, yes, I know I need a car, but then if you don't know what car that is, it will be difficult for you to connect with it, you know? If you don't like sometimes sit down and close your eyes and assume, you know, imagine yourself walking towards your car, you know, um, you know, switch it on and start driving. You, you don't have that emotional connection. So it will be very difficult for you to always go back to your goals, whatever you feel challenged, you know, because yes, you're gonna feel there's some challenges in the business, all right? So these are some of the things that will be holding you back into building your business in the right way, into inviting people, okay? So I want you to start believing in yourself. I want you to learn about the company and for you, so that you can believe, because you cannot believe more than what you know. It will never happen. I want you to start doing things consistently, you know, have that work ethic and connect with your goals. It's very, very, very important. And you will always, you, you should remember that um, um, invitation is a numbers game. It's a numbers game. The more you, the more, the, the, actually the bigger your list is, if your list has got 20 names, then obviously you won't be able to make invite, to, to, to make calls. You'll make very few calls and then you will quit doing it, you know? So the bigger the, 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 the list of names, the bigger the number that you're going to, the number of calls that you're going to make. So it's very important starting from the list that you'll be having. If you don't have a list today, it's very important that you set time and write a list of at least, I say 200 names, 200 names. That's a very good for someone that now, you see everybody is here for their own reasons, you know? and. This is for people that they really want to make it fast. And we always say like speed is of the essence. Speed in this business is of the essence. If you be in the business for quite some time and you don't make the money, then you'll always start feeling, you always start feeling like things are not working for you. They, they, you know, when you start feeling things are not working for you, you start doubting. When you start doubting, then the more things will not work for you because then you will, you will not have the courage to go out and do the business. When you don't go out and do the business, you will not get the results. So it's a vicious cycle. It is always like that. So, so when you saying like, I want to get started, it could be today. Maybe you've been in business for six months. Maybe you've been in business for, for a year and you have not really seen much of the results. You can say today that today is my day. I am going to start my business now. You understand? And then um, write that list today if you did not have that list. So write the list today. And then after that, um, let's start talking to people. So the more calls that you make, the more people will be coming for your, for your business. It's always, we, we always say like, uh, it's actually a statistics shows 10 people, one person comes. So the more you master the invitation skill as a skill, then the more the number is going to increase. Like you talk to 10 people, then, you know, two people will be showing up. You talk to 10 people, now three people will be showing up. It will come a time that maybe 10 people, well, it will never, never happen that everybody that should be calling will, will, will be, no matter how good you will be, but the number will be increasing, you know? But always remember that you have the gold in your hands. You have got the best to offer. You, you know, like, why, why do I say this? It's because sometimes um, we, 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 get, we get that fear, we get that doubt because you feel like um, I'm going to be, of course, it's, it, 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 um, it's how you think about it. Because if you feel like I'm going to call this person because I want them to join the business so that I can make that 1,900 grand, you know, so that I can make that $1,900, then you are thinking in a wrong way. 
obviously you will have you will have the doubt and the fear because your mind is telling you you are ripping that person off you it will mean that you want something from that person okay but this is this is this is the mentality also the philosophy that has really helped me build a business i remember it, it, it took me only four months to get to manager and i was speaking to so many people and for me it was like hey i'm sharing with you what i know because i know it's good for you that is why i asked you do you know how many people that have got a great attitude how many people that they want to make an extra income right now how many people that they want to take their kids to be, to the best school they want to drive a car they want to you know to, to live in a better house and all that it's because you are calling them for them you're not calling them for you to be to grow in the business no because even when they join the business the only money that you make when they join is that first money but it doesn't really you know it's not as much as if that person starts building their own business and succeed and once the money that is started starts getting in them in their in their in their in their account they will always you know they will always feel like wow actually you know i want to i want more the more they want the more the leadership you will you will have to to share with them or to give them or to offer them the more the money they make of course the more the percent you're making so the only reason why forever is paying you as a leader in the business is because you're showing leadership if you're not showing leadership there's no money that is coming into into your account that is why when people are thinking like network marketing or forever only people that started early are the ones that are making money they're wrong because even those people that started early, if they don't have people in their business that are growing, that are making money, you know, that are succeeding, they will not make the money, you know? So you have to remember when you're going to, or you're approaching someone to share about the business opportunity or even the products, know that it is for them. Once you have that at the back of your mind, like I know I'm totally talking, I'm gonna make the call to this person. And maybe because of this call, there's a day this person will take their kids to the private school. Maybe there's a day that this person will be traveling with me. Maybe there's a day that this person will be able to get off debt. You know, will be able, you know, today I met a single mom, you know? And for me, I'm like, I'm sharing with you because I want you to be a hero to your son. You know, I want you not to struggle when you want to provide for your son. So it's not for me, it's for you. So once you have that, you will not have the fear in sharing the business opportunity with someone, in taking that call and make that call, okay? But always when you want to make appointments, set a goal. How many people do I want to call? You understand? How many people, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, set a goal as into what am I going to share with this person? Am I going to be sharing about the, uh, the, the product or am I going to share about the business opportunity? You understand? So, so that you can know which way of, or which words you should use. You are, because you need to plan yourself. You need to know, you need to profile your people. All right? Yeah. And then you need to set an invitation target. How many people do I want to call today? So I need to call maybe five people. I need to call 10 people. And we say for someone that is building the business part time, you have to make minimum of 10 calls. Sorry, minimum of five calls, three to five calls. And then if you're building the business full time, at least, 10 calls a day, okay? But also, um, you need to also make sure that when you're making a call, you are super energetic, you're excited. Why should you be excited? Because you are about to change someone's life. You know, you're about to change someone's life. I mean, it's very exciting, you know, um, when you have that in your mind and, and then you make that call and then someone is interested. It's, 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 it's such a beautiful feeling. It's, it, you know, it's very fulfilling this business, you understand? So have your, have your best mood, you know, um, when you want to make a call. If you don't feel like doing something, of course, we always say like be difficult, di di discipline is doing what you need to do, whether you feel it or not. But when it comes to this one, then you need to revive yourself. So maybe listen to a good music first, you know, revive yourself, you know, like today I went to the gym, it, it was very cold, raining and all that. But then I was having my music on and you can, you cannot imagine when I got in the gym, I was feeling, you know, before I was like, should I go? Should I not go? And all that. But I said, let me just go. And then I went and then I had my music on. You, you won't believe the energy that I had. So maybe there are things that will be giving you that energy. So start doing them before. You know, some people, they start dancing. Some people, I, I remember Emil Varva, um, one of the leaders in another network marketing. She's like, whenever I want to talk to people, I'm like, you know, dancing fast. I'm looking for, you know, like that. Give yourself that energy because you need it. People will want to involve themselves with people that are full of energy. People that are full of life trust me so and that has to be has to come out of your voice you know always be in a hurry 
people should not feel like ah, you, you're just there. Like, uh uh-uh. they, they should know that, hey, it's just a minute that you have and you, you use that minute on them. All right. It's also a strategy for people not to be asking you a lot of questions before you even do the presentation because the goal is to just ask for an appointment. The goal is not presenting. So you have to be in a hurry for you to only use one minute and off you go on a call. You know, like the call is over. You understand? And I'm making calls because this is one of the most important activities. It has to be done the, as the first one. It has to, you have to prioritize. And because most people are fear, they fear. They always say like, you know, um, tackle your, your, your tough tasks the first. So this will be, you know, one of those, 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 those activities that will be like, you, you know, um, you understand, but it's very, that is why you have to do them the first, you know, so that it doesn't come like at, at the end of the day, you have not done it. And, you know, because also there's a limit to, to when you should make a call to someone, if it's a business call, you know, so when it's too late, you cannot make that call anymore. So you no one to be carrying them over like for tomorrow, for tomorrow, because then, you know, that means we'll not be talking to people. You understand? And when you're making a call, make sure that you're standing upright or you're sitting upright or you're standing. It's very important because that will give you a lot more energy and you have to be smiling. Do you know that people will know that you're smiling over the phone? You know, there's a day that I'm sure you have called someone, someone feel like, hey, you are super energetic today, but they've not seen you, right? And you'll be like, yeah, I am, I am, you know, this is that is how it's supposed to be people should feel that energy and that you can only start can only happen if you're sitting upright or if you're standing and you have to be make you to be smiling because yes you are about to change someone's life and assume it said yes because if you assume otherwise then you won't have the, hen- the energy assume it's a yes if it's a no then that's okay don't take it personal it's a no they said no that means for me when someone says no i'm like okay bad for you because maybe this would have been the opportunity that you're looking for. You understand? So don't take it personal. They have not said no to you. They have said no to the business opportunity. Okay? So there are different approaches that you can use. So this is one, one we call direct, direct approach. And maybe personally, I do a direct approach because probably most people will know uh, that I do forever. You know, I, they, you know if, if I meet, even if I meet a new person today, I give them my Facebook account or I give them my Instagram account. When they, you know, they go to my, my pages, maybe they'll know that I'm doing forever. So I will not want to beat about, uh, around the bush, you know? So <laughs> also, maybe this can also be for you. It depends. But um, uh, we recommend that you use this one if you know how to reply to the questions that you're gonna you're gonna get, which I've also included them in them them in this presentation. All right. So um, this is how you start. Remember, you have you are in a hurry, right? So hello, do you have a minute? Okay. So you also want that person, you know, like you've not spoken and spoken and spoken. They're like they're, they're like ah, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna call you later. You don't want that, okay? Because then it will be like, should I call her? Should I not call her? You know, because then you won't be, you, you, when, when they're saying, I'm gonna call you later, you will not be able to ask like what time, you understand? So you have to ask that person if they have got a minute to speak to you. And usually they'll be like, yeah, yeah I have a minute because it's just a minute and your call has to be a minute. So this is how you go like, hey, I'm very excited because I've recently started a business, um, a business with an international multi-billion dollar company, Forever Living Products, and so far, so fantastic. This sentence is very important. So far, so fantastic. That means you're enjoying, you love what you're doing, you're sure, you believe in what you're doing, you understand? So I am looking for open-minded people, determined, people with goals and I thought of you okay maybe you heard about forever okay because remember it's a direct approach but i am sure you have not heard about it from a serious committed person like me that means if they heard about forever maybe from an aunt or whatever you are you want to exclude yourself from those people that they assume they know forever from because you are serious because yes you're serious okay and i have full support from my uplands that are even more experienced this is especially this statement is especially for people that are just starting the business because yes you are serious and committed but then once you mention your uplands it means they are more experienced that means it's it's an access it's it's, you know it's he she or he will have the access to them you understand so it will be like more easier to even come and invite your your upline when you're speaking to this person so i'm not sure if it's for you or not but can we meet for a cup of coffee 45 minutes to announce that you can discuss more 
okay? I'm not sure it's, it's, it's for you or not, but can I, if I invite you for a Zoom meeting that we'll be having on Sunday, will you be able to attend, okay? Or for a Zoom meeting or a WhatsApp meeting, will you be able to attend? And then, so this is, you, you, want, you want to make it all obligation free that they don't have to feel obligated to join the business if they don't feel like it's for them. So that is why you're saying, I'm not sure if it's for you or not. So you ask which day, which day is best for you, Wednesday, 3 p.m. or Saturday, 4 p.m. Why, why, why do I recommend that you do two, 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 um, two, you suggest two dates? It's because when you are giving people a choice, it's, it's, it's very easy to choose one. But you are giving, if you are given only you know, one option, like this is the only, they'll be like, ah, maybe that day I'll be working. But if you tell them like you do you have the time this or this it will be very difficult for them to say like ah those they, unless they have traveled for that day but it's very difficult for someone to say no okay so it's always very important that you give them two options so like um even for the zoom meeting you can say like maybe this weekend or the other weekend or you can even because if it's a zoom meeting that we only have once a week what you can do you can create your own zoom link and, and you can even come to me, go to your upline and ask them like, hey, um, this week I want, to, I, I want to invite my people for maybe Wednesday meeting. I want to create a, a Wednesday meeting. So you can have your own Wednesday meeting and the one that we, we do maybe on Sunday or Saturday, depends with that week, okay? And still give your people two options because that will help you um, get better results. And then you can, there's another, I, I, um, what you need you to do is I need you to screenshot this one so that, so that you can have it, okay? So screenshot it for a minute. All right, and then there is direct on products. Now you want to invite people for to come and look, have a look at your products. Okay, so you start the same way. Hello, do you have a minute? I am so very excited because I've recently started a business with international company, with an international company, Forever Living Products, and so far so fantastic, especially on the products part. They have amazing products that most people love. This word, when you are inviting people or you want people to have a look and make a decision. Most people is the word that you need to be using because most people, it will make them feel like I am, you know, you know, I'm left, I, I don't want to be left out. You understand? Like most people want it. Okay. I want to want it. You know, I want it. You understand? So you have to be using it as many times as possible. So as you know, health has been a big challenge these days, especially for women or men, you know, kids, it depends now with what products you want to share. And I know you are, you are health conscious and you care for your family's health. So I want, this is very important because you are, you are, you are making them obligated for their family's health. Okay. So I want to share more about them, especially my personal experience, then you will make the final decision. Can we meet for a cup of course, 40, 40 minutes, or can I invite you for a Zoom meeting? Which day is best for you, Wednesday or, or Saturday this time, okay? So please um, screenshot this and then you'll have to write it because you can still use the same words when you are inviting people by using, um, by using uh, a text, okay? So there's, there's a, you can make a call, you can, be, you, can be, you can be texting people. This is the best way you can do. Okay, and then there's hot button approach. Hot button approach, this is, um, you maybe this is, will, will apply for people that you, you know them very deeply. People, maybe the, your, 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 your colleagues at work, where like you always sit down on lunch and start, you know, talk about things. Maybe your best friends, maybe your, you know, like people that, you know, people that are very close to you, people that you always talk about things. So maybe you have talked about, maybe this person is always complaining about not having money, or maybe you know their situation already because you're working with them. You know, maybe this person is, has lost their job. This person, that is hot button. That is what they really, really, when you press it, you know that you're pressing where like it really hurts the most, okay? So as, as usual, hey, how are you? Do you have a minute? Okay, I know we have been speaking about salaries not being enough. I know we have been speaking about most business being so risky. Okay, I know we've been speaking about um, starting a starting a business and 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 you know uh, yeah like uh, you, most most businesses have, you know they need a very a very high startup capital. Okay, um, I I know we have been speaking about not being sure of the life after university. If you're so you, if you're talking about um, you you maybe um, you know students. Okay, so I have recently started a business that I think will excite you too, and I thought I should share with you. Okay, I'm not sure if it's for you or not, but can we meet for a cup of coffee and talk more? Can I invite you for a, for a Zoom meeting? Can I invite you for a WhatsApp presentation? Okay, which date is best for you? Wednesday, 3 p.m. or Saturday, uh, 4 p.m.? Simple, you know, this will not even take you a one, a one minute. You understand? And there are people that are like, um, I, you know, my, most of the people in my list have not communicated with them for quite some time. Maybe 
even if it's for quite some time, don't start, you know, like making a lot of stories, like, you know, there's this aunt, there's this uncle, there's that and that and all that, you know, like you are, you are, you, 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 how do I say it now, it no longer becomes like whatever you're going to talk to them, it's not as important, you understand? So don't, don't, don't cheat, cheat, you know, cheat chats, yeah? Like for quite some time when you're making a business call like this, it has to be, remember you are in a hurry. So you cannot spend a, an hour or like 10, even 10 minutes, you're just talking to that person, you understand? They don't catch up. If you want to catch up, start catching up from now and then come and make a call after a week and be like, hey, by the way, you understand. After the business, I'm so very excited. If you feel like I need to, I need to connect to this person before I start sharing with them a business opportunity. But I can assure you, if you have got, if you believe in what you're going to share with them, it doesn't matter when you're like. It will be like, hey, by the way, I know we have not communicated for quite some time, and I feel this is the right time because I believe that nothing happens by chance. I've started a business of, I've started, a, I've, I've started a business. I'm so very excited about, and I'm looking for open-minded people. I, I know that you have got, you have got goals that you want to achieve, and I thought of you just now. You know. Like that, that energy, they need it. It doesn't matter if you have not even communicated with them for 10 years. So that is the hot button approach. And then there's indirect approach, okay? So this also works. And I love this one too, okay? Especially for very, very, very new people. So hello, do you have a minute? Um, I'm calling because I've just started an exciting, um, profitable business. If you have, no, if you have not, if you have not just started, then don't say that. You know, so I, I am building a profitable business. If you have been in the business, okay. So I'm calling because I am building a profitable business. I'm looking for open-minded, determined, goal-oriented people to work with, and I thought of you. You know, this is you are um, you are making someone feel valued. You understand. And obviously, even if they're not open-minded, you've already said they're open-minded. There's a one to be to be the person that you have already, you know, you have already, you have already um labeled them to be. So you have labeled them to be open-minded, to be determined, you have labeled them to be having goals. So they will want to be that person. Okay. So it's very important to use these statements because it makes also people feel good and they, to make them want to want to associate with you because you're already valuing them. Okay. I'm not sure if it's for you or it's not, but. Why don't we meet and, cough and, and talk more about it? Why, why not me inviting you for a Zoom meeting? Or why not inviting you for a WhatsApp meeting? You understand? So which day, which day is best for you? Wednesday, uh, 3 p.m. or Saturday, any day, you know, depending with, with when your presentations are. You understand? So I recommend that everybody here, if you're here, you have your own meetings every twice, every, you know, twice every week. Okay. So that is an indirect approach. Okay. And then maybe. Your prospect will ask you like, what is that? Some of them will ask, some of them will not, but maybe most of them will ask. They'll be like, hey, what business is that? So when you are asked like that and you decided to use an indirect approach, what do you say? You know, do you, do you start like blah, blah, forever, blah, blah, it's an international company, you start in, you know, like you start sharing the business opportunity there, no. What you need to say is, what business is that is? Yes, I would love to tell you, but I do not want you to miss a thing. Because also there are things that I want you to see. You understand? So meeting will be best. Okay. So yes, I would love to tell you definitely. Okay. But I want, I don't want you to miss a thing because they think that, you know, like they're visual. I want you to see them. So meeting me will be, will be best. And then maybe they will insist, like, please tell me what business is that? And most of the time when people is in, people are insisting like this, they have already like suspected, maybe they've been invited before and all that. So they, they want to know exactly what that is. Okay. So they will be like, Hey, don't worry. It's only 45 minutes that will, that will most definitely um, be life trans transforming. So let me, let, let us meet, meet. I always put trust me because I feel like um, if there's someone that they know, I, you know, we know each other, or even if we don't know each other, like when you say like, trust me, it will be like, okay, let me just put the trust on her. Okay. Plus, I am right. Remember, you are you are you are in a hurry, right? Plus, I'm rushing for a meeting, and I'm certain that you are at work. So, which day is best for you? Set an appointment, okay? Um, Saturday, whatever. Repeat again. Saturday or Wednesday, either of the two, okay? So, so he might even ask you later: Is it network marketing or is it forever? Okay. So this is how you do. First is you will smile, okay? That is your, you do, you'd no one to start feeling like, hey, my, oh my God, is, is, you know, because most of the time when we ask this question, is it my network marketing, is it forever? You start assuming that this person has got the worst of that. 
maybe they you you start assuming that maybe they were forever business owner you know or maybe they did it and they failed maybe they know someone that have failed we always think of the negative but in actual sense it's not always the fact today the lady that i met you know that i was directed to by by dk she is a forever business owner she actually she joined the business you know the other day i saw nkobile top distributor in africa she was calling for the forever business owners that quit the business for them to join again so it doesn't matter what the experience doesn't really matter okay and one thing that i, I can assure you is in everybody's life every six months there is something that is happening that is making them do something that have, you know make a decision that they had never made before maybe yes they're asking about for her because maybe there's someone that they you know they, they 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 maybe there's someone that approached them before and they were not ready maybe this is the time that they are ready so don't start assuming the worst because you don't know you know and remember what you have is the best remember you are about to change someone's life by making that call so it is up to them up to them of course to say yes or to say no it's not it's none of your business okay if they say no that's fine they have decided to say no to an opportunity that could change their lives that is what you need to have at the back of your mind okay so first is is it forever is it network marketing you smile and then the next question is why do you ask that is the next next question so don't go like yeah hey, forever nah, nah. ask first why do you ask then pause and listen wait for them to reply to you so they'll be like okay um okay it's forever yeah because i've attended one of the business presentations and all that i think i'm not interested you understand uh because i think the products are very expensive uh and you know they will be they will be saying out of they don't know anything about forever trust me trust me on this if someone knows forever in the right way they will be forever business owners because there's nothing not to like in forever living the life that it promises you know but of course i i also know that it cannot be for everyone so it could be a business it is a big, big good business yes but of course not everybody will, will want to be you'll be interested in it you know, as as much as it is good that is why we say like not everybody will be a doctor not everybody will be a, you'll be will be an engineer not everybody will be a forever business owner as well you understand so whatever they say you need to apply this feel felt found formula you know this one i understand how you feel so um okay forever ah okay i know my 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 aunt who 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 did forever living before and they never even they never even succeeded oh i know a number of friends that i know you know i have they've been calling me about this and um i i don't even see them doing the business anymore you understand so the very first thing is you say i understand how you feel that is you putting yourself in their shoes okay and i i you know i once felt the same way okay i heard about forever living i never believed in it you know that is you like now you know like sharing your personal experience okay and then i came to realize i found that you know after sitting down with with people that are building the business in the right way i found that sometimes people quit too early you know maybe some people they don't get the support that they need that is why they quit you understand maybe some people have not set um goals in a way that they're supposed to set so that so that they can they can they can they can they can be reachable you understand so you know now you you are bringing that person back into being positive so i understand how you feel i once felt the same way i was like i am not into this i'm not interested you know but then i i i i i i I was connected with people and I came to realize I found that you know you need to understand this business better for you to make the to to make the, the right choice but also I know that nothing happens by chance maybe me making giving you this call is your other opportunity is your another chance for you to get to understand about it so I cannot talk to I cannot talk um and you know like i cannot talk more about it right now so why don't we meet over a cup of coffee um which day is best for you now set another appointment you understand so one is you smile then why do you ask listen to them and then reply to them i understand how you feel i once felt the same way but then i i i i found or i came to realize that um you need to meet the right people for you to get to understand this business you know for you to know that you're going to get the support into building it you understand and i cannot talk much about it because i'm rushing to a meeting and i know you have got something that you want to you you're doing right now but why don't we catch up over a, over a cup of coffee why don't i i invite you for a zoom meeting which day is best wednesday 3 p.m or saturday 4 p.m 
okay ask for the appointment and then i hope you have gotten that one if you're having value please be chatting and just share with me what you know um what you're learning today and so another question you will be you you will be asked a number of times actually when you meet people especially like for example me when i am i am, I am like um i sometimes like hey i'm gonna go out and meet meet different people i have my business cards you know so when you ask someone like what do you do because you definitely want to know what people people are doing or even on social media when you're prospecting like you're texting someone okay and you'll be like hey so what do you do they will also ask you what do you do so this is how you reply so this is a very very common question and it has got about four ways to reply in a best way you can say anything but if you want to say in the right way if you want to interest people in what you do for them to be like give you that number okay that that you want from them like hey, what's your whatsapp number you understand for people to trust you for people to want to really know what you do this is how you do it so it has four steps first is negative negative positive and then invitation you know negative ne negative these are the challenges that people are people are going through you understand and then that may, once when someone is having a challenge it will always result into another challenge so if someone doesn't have money it means obviously they'll be struggling you know if someone have lost their jobs maybe now they will want to 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 live the same the same lifestyle but then they cannot afford okay if someone is is making is making unhealthy choices then they will be having some challenges when it comes to maybe they'll be have they'll be sick and all that so this is how you do, you go so you know the way most people you know the way most people have lost their jobs okay so and so they struggle when it comes to paying basic bills basic bills and oh and yet they do not have enough with their families and all that okay so what we do now that is you coming to the with the solution so one is people go through a challenge that bring another challenge okay and then you are there to offer a solution over the challenges that these people are going through that is what we do so this is what we do so we show people how to make an extra income part time we show people how they can lose weight in nine days. We show students how they can start business with low startup capital while in school. Okay. We show um, stay-at-home moms how they can be how how they can be um, how they can build their own business and not rely on their husbands, for example. We show single moms. So it will depend with someone, whoever that you're talking to at that particular time. Okay. So if you're speaking, maybe in 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 a um, in a school, you'll be like, yeah, we show teachers how they can make an extra income. We show teachers how they can be able to perform their tasks better and be able to look bet, you know, look, um, you know, offer better, whatever with students, whatever. You understand? So that is how that is how you reply. So you come, you don't say like, hey, so what do you do? I do forever living products. I am a forever business owner. They don't even know what that is. Or maybe if you heard, if you if you meet someone that knows forever in a wrong way, they'll be like, ah, I'm not interested. You understand but then if you if you reply in a way that you're offering a solution the solution that you're bringing on the table it will be very easy for that that person do not even think you know even if you come and share about forever after but already remember first impression really matters so how do you present yourself in front of people really really matters so this um is how this and it's one of the examples for example so you know so what do you do so be like, yeah, hey, you know, the way most people have lost their jobs or the way people, the most people are not making enough money in their businesses or in, in their employment. So they struggle when it comes to paying basic bills and yet they do not have enough time with their families. So what I do is I show people how they can make extra income part time without compromising their current careers. Now, this is not a good time, but why don't we meet for a cup of coffee and talk more? Which day is best for you? Wednesday, 3 p.m. or Saturday, 3, 4 p.m.? Imagine if you tell someone that way if you reply to that question that way will that person not, not be interested to know exactly what you do i am sure they will be interested i'm sure they will come for that meeting so guys do not take this serious do not take this lightly please be screenshotting them and use this you can even use the exact exact words because that's how this business is it's a copy paste business you don't have to start thinking on your own that is why i've even given given you scripts and most of these scripts are the scripts that you'll be using for almost everyone almost everyone that you'll be you'll be meeting they are not making enough money in their business or employment you understand they will be struggling you know but no one to point pinpoint to themselves so you, that is why you're using most people they will feel they will they will know that i am part of the most people you understand but you don't want to say you I am I'm, 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 I'm directing, you know, like I am focused on you. No, 
you know this these these are some a lot of challenge you know challenges that a lot of people are going through all right so um when you're following up there's a there's a best way to follow up you don't just um ask some questions no you have to ask the right questions and for me the best way to follow up is for making a call so you will you can text maybe you are meeting today or maybe you are meeting tomorrow you have already made a call you already agreed on when you need to meet so this is that follow-up call so do not ask like are we hey are we still meeting if if you ask this way it means you are giving that uh, person an opportunity to say no they can even say like hey something is by the way hi something has come come up you know da, da, da. you know because you have not asked the right question so never ask are we still meeting this is how you do so it will be like hey hello how are you how is your day so far so this is a quick call to remind you that we're meeting at santon city at 3 p.m tomorrow okay or later today so i'll be there 15 minutes before time so just call when you get there this is very important i'll be there 15 minutes before because you want them to know that you're committed to that meeting you understand and so that is also to tell them like hey you cannot be late you know or it to be like hey it's a quick call to remind you for our zoom maybe you, are, you know you invite them for a zoom meeting and it's about to start so um the, hey hello are you how are you how is your day so far it's a quick call to remind you of our zoom meeting later today at 7 p.m i sent you the link already do you have a zoom app in your phone already um or ready to attend i will log in 15 minutes before so we will uh, so i will text you again then okay guys zoom meetings i know it's here i know most of you are, are, are late to start to come in the meeting you understand but please it's, it's not a good thing it's not a good thing because imagine do you know how many what time did i did, did i sleep making this presentation for you i slept at one yesterday and imagine i have got a baby that is only two months and i'm doing this and you are coming for the meeting 10 minutes later is that is that pay you know and then you come like hey forever doesn't work and all that only a Zoom meeting where you are maybe at home or you and good thing with Zoom meeting you can you can log in anywhere even if you are in a public transport even if you are in you know even if you are driving you can still be listening as you are driving so there's no excuse as to why you are getting late if you are getting late that means your 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 prospects will be getting late or brother you will yes they will be getting late and they will be missing some part of the presentation that maybe they are meant to attend so make it you know one of the commitments that i want to be showing up early for my meeting okay if you want to invite someone for an event there will be events coming up also zoom events as well okay one is set a number uh for P a number a goal for the people that you want to invite okay and then um first is for me i always send messages because i feel like um for me messages it's easy because you know it's just sending a message you know you can be able to invite as many people as possible by just sending messages and then from the people that will reply that message then that is when you make a call okay and then um you'll be talking to people if it's an it's, it's an event that is coming maybe now in, in a week or it's coming in two weeks and you'll be having people that you'll be talking to like almost every day every person you have to be talking to them about that event you want trust me the one thing that builds this business is events you understand these events so then when you when you have as an event make a commitment to be there but also make a commitment to have a lot of people to be there as well because in, usually in events there'll be top leaders and all that okay and also choose a selling point for your event so this is an example of how you can invite for an event so like hello how are you up sorry i'm um, hello how are you do you have a minute okay what are you up to this saturday at 3 p.m this is your locking that time when it, most of the time when you ask these people like this it will be difficult for them to start thinking like okay you know if they don't have anything they'll be like yeah because they don't know what you're going to tell them and once they say yes it means they're available you understand so pause and listen so what are you up to this saturday 3 p.m if they're available then you'll be like i have two tickets i'll have two tickets for a powerful event at a venue that i believe it will be a life transforming for you as well okay as i know you're open-minded you have got goals that you're determined to achieve this year you told me that you're looking for ways to create another source of income that is solid at your extra income so here you can be mixing okay so i know you're open-minded you have got goals that you're determined to achieve this year or like hey i know that you told me that you're looking for ways to create another source of income for someone that you already know okay and what's even more interesting is you will meet and connect with great people that have stories you can relate with stories that you can relate with and are now successful 
successful in business oh we'll have fun i love this one this one because obviously you know you want to make to get to take someone somewhere someone where they will be having fun and obviously they'll have fun okay so what are you so where are you so that i can drop you the card if, if you if if, if 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 you have invitation cards or like uh if if if, if it's, it's 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 a soft soft copy they will be like hey I'm, I'm dropping you a soft copy just go through it and you know yeah that's it as in it's as simple as this okay so i want to give a challenge 10 days challenge 10 days guys just 10 days and please can someone screenshot this one for me okay so um just a minute so 10 days challenge one is if you don't have if you don't have um if you don't have a list yet please write a list if you have a list already please rewrite a list of people okay Re rewrite a list of names okay of your people and all all the time when i'm i'm doing the rewriting thing i usually remember people that maybe i wouldn't have remembered if i was not rewriting my list so please give yourself a challenge to make sure that you are rewriting the list of people that you're going to talk to and then every day if you're building the business part time then make it at least five calls a day at least for 10 days only 10 days okay and then for someone that is building the business full time at least 10 calls every day from that list okay and then 10 send 10 invitation 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 messages every day Okay, so there's calls and invitation messages. Messages is easy because from what I've just sent to you, I've, I've just shared with you, you just copy it and then send it. Simple. It doesn't really even take time. Okay. And then please do this. And I, I can assure you when you do it, you will get the results that you're looking for. Because this business, the one that you're supposed to do is to make sure that you're sponsoring at least one to two people every month. One to two people only. Two people every month and by doing this i can assure you you can you can you you will have people for your zoom meeting you will have people for your whatsapp meeting you will have people you know and now, now we have started for people in south africa we have started our physical meetings we'll be having one in south africa sorry we'll be having one um this saturday this sunday sorry okay so we'll have one that is on zoom so give yourself a challenge to have people for this meeting. So don't just be there for the Zoom meeting because you're told to be there. For these Zoom meetings where we are supposed to invite people, for it to be an income generating activity for you, you have to make sure that you are bringing people for this one. So we'll have this one on Saturday at 7 p.m. This Saturday, 7 p.m. And on Sunday, we'll have a live, live meeting, like a physical meeting at Oriental Plaza somewhere in Randbike. There is where we have an, a small office to accommodate maybe about 10 people. So make sure that you're coming, but also make sure that you also invite at least one or two people for this one. Okay, but we'll have, we're have we looking for another one to do it in Cosmo City on the 19th. That will be also a physical one. So please make sure that you are, once we get the venue, we get the, the, we get the, the card, the, the poster out, please make sure that you're inviting people for that. So that is the challenge I'm giving, I'm giving you please make sure that you do it and remember you're doing this business for yourself i know and i want to remind you that you are unstoppable you can do anything you have got great greatness within you you know it's this is the time to bring to wake up that giant within you you have the potential make sure that you make a commitment to use your full potential because this business really really can deliver it's not going to be easy but it's going to be worth it. What are your goals? What are the things that you're looking forward into, into building? Sorry, what are the things that you're looking forward into achieving through this business? So thank you all very much. And I wish you all great success. Do you have any question maybe so far? <laughs>